All right, so before we begin, everything that I'm about to do here is in this tutorial, which is in the description. The only thing that I do differently is a way to uh, connect to the scooter that isn't in this tutorial in case you don't have one specific tool that is very useful. You're going to need a USB to serial adapter or UART adapter. I use the FT232RL. Afterwards, you'll need some DuPont wires. I use some male to female adapters. Then uh, you'll really need the wrench that comes with your scooter. And if you, you follow my method, you'll need some needle nose pliers, a sharp knife, some scissors and electrical tape. So, like I said before, if you want to make your life a little bit easier and not need uh, the tools that I just said for my method, I suggest that you buy this tool on eBay, however the seller is from Germany, so uh, depending on where you are in the world, this might be a little expensive for you, uh, but you can search on Aliexpress for a 5-pin electrical scooter connector uh, and you can create your own cable that does this. This cable will make your life a lot easier while connecting your uh, USB adapter to your scooter. However, uh, since I didn't have one, I only had the uh, uh, DuPont cables and the uh, USB connector. Uh, I'll show you the way I did it. So we're going to pick up our uh, DuPont cable and we have a female and a male side. On the male side, you can see there's this little plastic tab. So we're going to pick up our little uh, tool with an edge and lift up this tab and once it's up we're going to just slide out the plastic bit. Now we're going to pick up our cut pliers or cutting pliers and cut right here. And what we we will have left is two little metal tabs and there's one on top of the other so the right one is on top of the left one and we're going to pick up our cutting tool again and it's useful if you have a, a small cutting tool I'll switch to a smaller one here because I wasn't being able to and basically you're going to try to wiggle the upper tab sideways so that you can lift it out to the side as you can see the, the right tab has lifted out a little bit exposing the the left tab here I'm just pointing to the left tab so now you're going to pick up your pliers and you're going to try to squish the left tab in order to make a little hole because the idea here is for the the pin in the scooter connector we want this pin to fit right on that hole right there so to make things easier we're going to cut off the the right side the edge that was pointing out that we moved a little bit before. As you can see, uh, we only have the hole now remaining. But on the rear, we have these two tabs that are raised up and that can cause some issues. So we're just going to pick up our pliers again and we're just going to gently bring them closer together in order to make the, uh, the shape be a little bit more narrow so that it enters well the connector without touching the other connectors. So as you can see they're both bent inwards so the profile of the, of the metal tab is now a lot smaller. So once you have this done we're going to go to our scooter and I've already uh, lifted up the top with my tool and I'm just going to check if the uh, the pin fits in there and in my case it didn't fit because it was uh, the hole was too small so I'm just going to pick up my edge tool here my knife and just slightly raise the hole a little bit so increase the hole just a little bit because we want the pin to fit but we want to, it to fit snugly so that it doesn't move and as you can see it, this worked this time and this works pretty well without touching any connector however uh, not to risk <laughs> a short circuit. Uh, now we are going to cover the um, the exposed metal with a little bit of electrical tape. So you just need a little dab of electrical tape, just a, a very little amount. 
and you're going to try to um, to place your metal part on the side of the uh, electrical tape on one of the corners and you're just going to gently roll the rest of the tape on top of the uh, of your metal bit so the idea is that all the sides are protected with the electrical tape and the only thing exposed is the bottom where you'll connect to your pin in the scooter just like that so go ahead and do this three more times and I recommend you do this with a, a black a, a yellow and a blue or green cable because this will just make things a little bit easier when connecting so if you instead bought the cable I suggested before you can ignore everything I've done so far because you're just going to need that cable and the uh, female to female DuPont connector so no, now that we have our hardware set up we are going to download the software that we need first we can download the BW flasher as you can see this is getting updated pretty regularly and then we are going to need our firmware so first we are visiting me firmware info website and we're going to choose our scooter which is the uh, 4 pro second gen and we want to download the MCU firmware details we don't want just firmware details we want the MCU one once that's done we're going into the BW patcher website and we'll upload what we just downloaded into here and we're going to check me for Pearl second so obviously we want a patch to remove the speed limit in stock firmware when you break your rear motor helps in braking using uh, regen braking if you check regen free uh, you'll notice that very little regen from the motor on braking will happen and also you'll get a blinking brake light as such I don't recommend you use uh, regen free if you don't select it as I said uh, you'll have normal regen on braking and you'll have the normal brake light and also it's reported that you'll get faster you'll reach fa the top speed quicker once you have done this we can go ahead and download the patched firmware so once you have your patch ready it's time to flash finally you're going to want to turn on your scooter first then you're going to want to disconnect your 5 pin connector and you're going to connect your uh, DuPont cables the way you see in this picture so RX connected to RX, TX connected to TX and ground connected to ground once you have a good connection and make sure you don't uh, make metal, touch metal bits that you should not so you don't have any short circuit it's time to go back to your computer and open up the BW Flasher executable you're going to make sure it recognizes your USB port it should show COM3 or COM4 or wherever it's connected then you're just going to load your patched firmware bin and you should hit start update it should move to 1% rather quickly if it's working well and you just have to wait during this time just don't touch the cables, don't touch the scooter the uh, USB serial should be flashing I have the video sped up so it's flashing quickly and once it finished it should say uh, done or enjoy and it's ready you can plug your scooter back in and you can quickly test it out to see if it works it will blink or beep after 30 kilometers per hour but this is normal so everything I've shown you so far I got into it from the Scooter Hotkin community I recommend you join their discord especially if you have any questions just remember that these people are doing this for free so don't be an idiot thanks and enjoy <laughs>